Good morning, futures traders. Today's Friday, January 26th, the time 940. We're going to be trading the market open today at the NASDAQ uh, using the Ninja Trader Automated Trading Strategy, Triple Shot Pro Scalper strategy that I showed you yesterday. Um, you know, I had a few comments that uh, people were concerned that the, the, the stop was 50 ticks. We need to understand that we're never going to hit the 50 tick stop because uh, it's a two bar reversal. The orders are only going to be taken on a two bar reversal. So when it hits that second um, bar, it's going to place it's going to place the order. So it's never going to get to the full 50 ticks. Um, I will test over the weekend um, a shorter stop just to, to minimize that. But again, the goal here is just quick hits. Um, get take advantage of five tick turnover that NQ does. Um, I also move, uh, change these boxes so these boxes signify five ticks. So you can see we're at 239.84. Um, I'm also experimenting with DRAM. So if, in the event that you do have a two bar reversal that does lose, um, DRAM will help pick it up on the next trade. So again, goal is to uh, hit, get some quick hits and um, deal with the probabilities of the NQ going five ticks in any given direction. So we'll let it run for a little bit and then, uh, you know, we'll call it a day. Again, you don't have to trade 10, 10 contracts. I'm trading 10 contracts to show you the power that this has. Uh, when it is 10. Now, if you get slippage like we just did there, that could be a problem. We just had big slippage because rhythmic is not the best. So, um, uh, let's see if we can get five ticks down. If not, we'll have a reversal with DRAM on. Okay, we did get the five ticks when we're out of that trade. Again, you can see in a volatile environment like this where we have quick up and down, normally you'd lose um, when you have a, a bigger target. So with the five ticks, it helps you, especially in choppy zones. So just like we've seen the last three trades, um, we are uh, taking these quick sniper hits. All right, so now we're in a little runner here. Let's see if we can take advantage and at least test this high that's uh, it hit before up here. We hit it twice, so let's see if we can get up there without hitting our trailing stop. If not, we hit our break-even stop on that second position. All right, we did. We hit it. Okay, here could be an example where we get taken out with the second bar reversal. We'll see. Because we had this little slippage here, we, it could have been a loss anyway. We'll see what NASDAQ does. It may try to come back down here and hit this area of support again. It hit it a few times, so we'll see if it can do that again. If not, we'll let DRAM kick in. Okay, it did do a quick reversal for our five ticks, so we will let it continue. We're at 525. Now, again, this is about slow and steady. Okay, if you wanted, you could stop now. Again, you could trade one, two contracts and just go slow and steady, get your five ticks and move on. Uh, I recommend maybe two contracts and then do two on DRAM to double it up on your second trade. That way you can at least... Uh, make up for that any immediate loss. I'll make a video on that next week to show you that, to so show you how you can recover. But again, it did come down and tried to test this area of support again. Let's see if it bounces back off of this line again here. And again, you could pick and choose when you want to turn it on too. If you don't like the way you see price action, you know, you could turn it off. So again, the point here is, you know, taking triple shot or shot bot you know, these type of reversal systems and building your own strategy. I chose to do a quick sniper strategy that 
is pretty high probability. Again, it's not 100%, nothing is, but you get an idea that you can uh, exploit the quick moves of uh, the NASDAQ. So let's see if we pop back up here again. Be good to get a little runner. And with triple shot, there are filters I could put in here. So I haven't even experimented with those filters yet. So um, I'm going to, you know, again, test, continue testing the strategy out. This will be week two uh, and see if we can uh, filter these some of these trades out. So, again, now we're at 653. Those are complete winners so far, I believe four or five in a row. Okay, we hit our break-even trail. Let's see what we close at. All right, there's our five ticks there. Let's see if we get a runner back up to this area of resistance here. I'm also going to test trailing stops too. Okay, we get slippage there. Okay, we got five ticks there. It's 11.34. We'll maybe let it go for just a little bit longer. Stuck in this range here. This is good for range bound. Again, notice even in uh, a trending uh, you wouldn't this wouldn't have executed because it's not a two bar reversal however this would have won here this would have won here would have won here it would have won here it would have won in uh this one here might have got it looks like it did if we didn't get any slippage um it might have i might have hit it here so yeah with this probably would have won
All right, we're going to turn this off. What are the channels? Okay, so 1239.22 on the day, about 10 minutes. Uh, so you can see how this sniper trading could work here. Um, I'll continue testing and sharing this with you. But uh, anyway, have a great weekend and we'll see you next week.